Is Xbox and Xbox Game Pass really going multi-platform? Hi, welcome to Zigadger Review. In the last few days, there's been tons of rumors about Xbox's future when it comes to gaming. Rumors started when there was data mining for a game called Hi-Fi Rush, which was released, I believe, at the beginning of last year. It was one of those shadow drops by Microsoft. The game got great reviews, and a lot of people actually enjoyed it playing the game. Based on data mining, there's information saying that this game is actually going to go to PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. And that started all these rumors saying that not only this game was going to go multi-platform, but Starfield was going to go more multi-platform, meaning that it was going to go to the PS5. And then rumors said that the upcoming Indiana Jones game, which is going to come out sometime this year, is also going to be a multi-platform title. Oh, also, there was news today that there was a leak from GameStop showing that Xbox Game Pass was changing to Microsoft Game Pass, fueling even more rumors that the Xbox branding might go away. This is future me. And I decided to redo part of this video because there was more information that came out after I shot the video and I wasn't very happy with the way the first video went. So let's talk about other games that supposedly are also going to go multi-platform besides the ones that I just mentioned. Another game rumored to be going multi-platform is Sea of Thieves. Then we also have Gears of War. We have Halo Infinite, the brand new, and I'm going to say this wrong, but it's just the way it is, Senua's or Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, and a game called Pentinent, which I'm not really familiar with. So those are some of the games that are rumored to be moving and going multi-platform. I'm, I'm, I am going to discuss on why it kind of makes sense that this will be some of the games going multi-platform, but let's continue with if I think that Xbox is actually going to go away. If you've been seeing some of my videos about Xbox and cloud gaming, I've been saying forever that Microsoft is going away from console gaming and they're becoming a streaming cloud service gaming company. Right now, technically, Xbox is multi-platform. You can play Xbox games via Game Pass on your phone. You can play it on a browser on your computer or through the app on your computer. If you have a Samsung TV, you can play Game Pass games on your Samsung TV with no extra device required. Based on what they've been doing in the last few years, it makes sense that they will try to broaden the service further than the, than what I just mentioned. Now, do I think that the Xbox branding is going to go away? I think the Xbox branding is going to go away when it comes to Game Pass. I think Game Pass is going to become Microsoft Game Pass, just like the leak from GameSpot or GameStop. GameStop. And the reason why is because Xbox has a connotation with console gaming. Xbox has a connotation with its own service, its own product, but Microsoft it's a wider brand, it's a bigger brand that encompasses a bunch of different products. So if you want to have people adopt your service and create less of a marketplace confusion when it comes to your service and the branding of the service, Microsoft Game Pass makes more sense. Do I think that Xbox as a brand is gonna go away? I don't think so. I think that Xbox is going to remain as a brand when it comes to console gaming. Because if things come out the way they are supposed to come out based on the documents that leaked last year, I'm going to link that video in the description section if you're not aware of that, Xbox is going to release an all digital version of the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. I mean, granted, Xbox Series S is already all digital. The Xbox Series X is going to go all digital, which means that the Xbox most likely is going to become a streaming device for Microsoft Game Pass and a streaming device for digital games. Xbox also recently fired its whole physical gaming division, which means that Microsoft is looking ahead into the future on becoming an all digital gaming company. It makes sense because we as consumers, I'm going to say a little bit less 
me than a lot of you. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I still buy physical media when it comes to movies and music. Games, not so much. I really screwed up on that. So I will take blame when it comes to games. The consumers have been trending towards digital. And the reason why is because it is easier. It is faster. And so it makes sense that because that's the way people are trending, the Microsoft is looking at the market and saying, why are we spending all this money and resources on making physical media that no one's going to buy? We can just keep it digital, still charge the same amount of money, and make the most money that we can. So I think that that's what is going to happen with the Xbox brand. Xbox brand is going to separate itself from the rest of the Microsoft gaming brand. And I don't think that this was Microsoft slash Xbox's plan from the beginning. As we know, Xbox has been buying different gaming studios. They bought Bethesda, they bought Activision, and I think when they bought Bethesda, they thought that the slate of games that Bethesda was going to bring to the table was going to be a lot more impactful for the brand and the platform. And that just wasn't the case. For example, Redfall was a game that was touted as the greatest game that was going to come out. It was this open world vampire hunting game, blah, 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 blah. It turned out to be the worst thing Ever. It was glitchy, it was buggy, it was unplayable. It was a game that shouldn't have released when it released. That game should have released late last year, if not sometime this year. That is the first big failure from a brand new acquisition, aka Bethesda, that came out. It didn't go anywhere. And then it was pretty quiet until Starfield. Then we got Starfield and Starfield did make a big splash. Starfield did sell a lot of copies. Starfield was an impact for the brand. It was an impact for the platform. Starfield performed the way Xbox expected it to perform, if not better than they expected it to perform. But Starfield truthfully isn't the game that they thought was going to be either. I can guarantee you that Microsoft thought that Starfield was going to be the next Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls has been around for over a decade, if I'm not mistaken, and it sold in countless of formats and revisions of that game. That game makes a lot of money for Bethesda. And so I think that they thought that Starfield was going to be the same thing. And the truth is Starfield isn't going to be that game. The truth is that Starfield is an okay game. It's a game that engages you for a bit. It's a game that has an okay story. I think that Starfield, despite being great for the platform, it isn't or it isn't going to be what they thought was going to be. And so now we have Activision. Activision is Call of Duty. Call of Duty is going to sell every year no matter what. It's like freaking Madden that comes out, people buy it no matter what the game is, just because of the name. I think that the plan originally by Xbox and Microsoft was if we can get Activision games, if we can get Bethesda games, our platform it's going to surge in sales. People are going to be clamoring for an Xbox. But I think that didn't happen. And I think that Microsoft is spending all this money said, we're not going to recoup this money, that investments, that billions of dollars that we have spent just on buying without counting all the other legal stuff that you have to spend money on because lawyers cost money. You have all this money you have pumped into buying these companies that you're not going to get back. And I think that that's what Microsoft has seen. We're not getting back this money, just sticking with Xbox. And we gotta go multi-platform. We have to put these games in other platforms in order for us to make our money back. Now, the games that I just mentioned, some of them make sense, perfect sense that you will go multi-platform. As, as much as as much of a fan of Xbox that I am, if you're looking at it from a, <laughs> from a business point of view, it makes perfect sense. Let's start with Halo, Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite only has a few thousand players on average. I think on average it's like 4,000 players. I think the max is like 8,000 players at its peak. That's not a lot of players. And I'm talking just Steam numbers, okay? If we count Xbox, let's say some, let, let's double that number. Let's say on average it's between eight and 10,000 players. That is not a lot of people playing the game. I know it sounds like a lot of people, but it isn't a lot of people. And when you have a live service game like Halo Infinite is, you are thriving on selling the seasons and selling cosmetics and selling all this stuff. 
And if you don't have enough people playing the game, that means there's not enough people buying those things for you to continue sustaining the game. Makes sense that they will go multi-platform for that game. That game has been mismanaged by Microsoft, by Xbox horribly. They gave it to a company who has screwed up game after game after game when it comes to Halo, destroying pretty much what Halo once was. And I'm not saying that that's gonna happen. Gears of War. Gears of War has five games. Five games that, again, is a dormant IP. P, that last Gears of War came out like, what, four years, five years ago, it will make sense again to try to make as much money of a game that a lot of people haven't been able to play, not only because of the platform, but because of how long ago those games came out, starting with the first one. And so why not pump more life into that brand? Starfield. Starfield is a game that sold a lot of consoles on Xbox. And if you want to make as much money as you can from Starfield, which is your star player from the Bethesda acquisition, why not go on multiplayer? platform you know the people who are on ps5 who haven't been able to play this game are going to chomp at the pit to try to buy it to try to play it and again you need to get your money back on the huge investment that you made on that game sea of thieves again is a game that's not a system sellers sea of thieves has been out for a few years now the concept the pitch of it was a good idea you are a pirate in the seas and you get to you know attack other ships and take their ships and do all these things they've made a lot of changes to the game i, I truly have never played the game I, I wanted to play the game but i've never actually getting around to do it so sea of thieves again is a game that makes sense to put out in other platforms instead of just having it stuck on xbox now we have the newest games that are coming out indiana jones i don't think personally that it makes sense for xbox to put out indiana jones day one in other platforms that if it comes out later like a year later sure why not this is like a year exclusivity on that same thing with Hell hellblade 2 hellblade 2 i don't see why you would put that out day one in other platforms but that's that's why i think that microsoft is doing this that's how i think the positioning of these games is and why these games are the ones that are being chosen and I, I understand the feeling that people are saying that it feels like xbox is throwing the towel xbox is giving up and blah 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 but i have news for you xbox has been losing this battle this console war since that xbox one once the xbox one came out it cannot tarnish the brand and it's never been able to recover i think that's what's happening i think xbox is saying we need to make our money back on this investments uh keeping everything in-house under one brand isn't doing it and so let's change it to me the biggest problem with all this is the way media is going, right? Best Buy said that they aren't going to sell any more Blu-rays or DVDs in their stores. So physical media is going away. And I think to me, as I said many, many times, that's a huge issue. I think that people should change their purchasing habits. If you don't do it with gaming, and I can understand with gaming a little bit, do it with other things, do it with music, do it with movies. And the reason I'm going to tell you that is because we've had last year where Sony came out in European countries and said that they were taking away the license for things that people had purchased digital movies that people had purchased and the reason was because sony had lost the license to these movies not you as a consumer but sony but technically because you bought it on sony's platform it is tied to sony's license so the sony loses the license which means that you lose access to your content. And that's just not right. And the only way we can fix that is if we buy physical media. It just happened with, with uh, Funimation. We understand that you may have concerns about your digital copies from Funimation. Please note that Crunchyroll does not currently support Funimation digital copies, which means that access to previously available digital copies will not be supported. However, we are continuously working to enhance our content offerings and provide you with an exceptional anime streaming experience. We appreciate your understanding and encourage you to explore the extensive anime library available on Crunchyroll. So technically, you need to figure out a way to get access to it a different way, which again illustrates my issue with digital copies perfectly. And so that's why I think that that, that physical media is much, much more important than we ever thought before, because nowadays these companies can take access away from things. Those are my thoughts about what Xbox is going to do. Those are my thoughts about physical media. Next week, we're going to hear from Phil Spencer about this. So I will make a video after the announcement to see what the announcement is. Back to the old me to close out this video. 
If you have any questions, any comments about what's going on with Xbox right now, anything that probably I missed, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. That is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.